that young doctor at the center of that violent confrontation with an Uber driver. Anjali Ramkisun is here to talk about what happened for the first time since that video went viral, viewed more than five million times. And we're going to get to that exclusive interview after this from ABC's Gio Benitez. It's the video that spread like wildfire. Angeli Ramkasoon is a fourth-year neurology resident at one of Miami's most prestigious hospitals. But last week, she was belligerent. I'm a five-foot girl that weighs 100 pounds. I'm getting really, like, belligerent right now. Caught on camera in a bizarre confrontation with an Uber driver. It happened in the heart of downtown Miami. Can you call 911, please? Ramka Soon thinks this is her driver. It isn't. He's waiting to pick up someone else. But still, she demands he drive her. After things get physical and she's pushed to the ground, she gets into the car and does this. Many of you chiming in right away online. Violetta writing, this person should not be practicing medicine. Another saying, I wouldn't go anywhere near the facility for medical care if she continues to work there. And another saying, she should be arrested and charged with assault. But the driver, speaking to local station WTVJ, is not pressing charges. She was erratic. She was like screaming, cursing, you know, calling me names. Ram Kassoon, now on administrative leave from the hospital while it conducts an internal investigation, and Uber has suspended her. For Good Morning America, Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York. And Dr. Anjali Ramkasun joins us now. Welcome to GMA. Thanks for coming on this morning. And that video is so hard for all of us to watch. I can't imagine what it's like for you. When you look at it, what do you see? I see a person that is not me. That's, I, I'm ashamed. I still can't watch the entire video. Um, Every time someone brings it up or tries to ask me what was happening at this point, I just, I can't. So what was happening? I was really, a lot had happened that day, actually. Um, the, in the events leading up to that point, my father had been placed in the hospital. And just minutes prior to that altercation with the Uber driver, um, my boyfriend and I of two years had just broken up. So he went home. Um, I was there by myself. So you guys have been drinking? Yes. And I knew that I'd had a few drinks, so I decided, and actually I'd driven to that place that night, um, but I did not want to drive my car home. So I left my car there, and that was why I was trying to get the, the Uber to get home. Everything you said sounds pretty bad, yeah. but you know it's no excuse, right? There's absolutely no excuse for my actions. I'm ashamed. I'm so sorry. I've hurt so many people with this, my family. My friends, my job, the Uber driver, I, no one deserves to be treated that way. And that is, that's not me. Did you apologize to him? I did. So we actually settled while we were out there. Um, I paid for the damages and I apologized to him and he accepted my apology. And I'm so thankful that he did not press charges, that he did not have me arrested. I, I'm, I'm grateful. Has anything like this ever happened before? You really did seem to snap there. I did. Um, I was extremely stressed out that day. It was probably one of the worst days of my life, and I was caught at my lowest moment. And nothing like this has ever happened. It was completely out of character. Anyone that knows me, they see that video and they say, that's not you. And it, it really just, it's not me. Could any part of, your, of yourself see yourself doing this and, and, and get a handle on it and say, wait, I've just, I've lost control here? You know what? I, hindsight is 2020, and every time I look back at it, I say could have, should have, would have. And in the moment, I was just so angry. I wasn't really thinking. And if I could take it back, I would. You've invested a lot in your career as a doctor. Now, now suspended. Yes. And you saw some of the some of the comments in, in Geo's piece. Yes. People saying this person just should not yeah. be a doctor. What do you say to them? I had a bad night. Um, I made a huge mistake, the biggest mistake of my life, and that person is not me. And yes, I'm on administrative leave from my job right now, but at the same time, this has not just affected my career, it's also affected my family, it's affected my personal life. I, I get it. I did something extremely horrible, and I'm extremely so sorry for it. Um, but I've also been receiving horrible messages on cyberspace, the cyberbullying. Uh, my family was targeted, their address was leaked. 
Um, I've received messages telling me that I should kill myself, that I should have been raped that night. Um, I don't, I think it's ridiculous and I, I'm here to own up to what I did. I'm taking responsibility for it and I'm asking for forgiveness. How do you make it good? How do you get your job back? I think the best thing at this point is to just take responsibility for what I've done. I did it and I'm ashamed of what I did and this would never happen again and I think at the same time I should also speak out that you know to send a message out to people um, and the public to be careful and use my story uh, as a message as a lesson to be careful what you do in public because the things that we do can be taped and we can have to suffer severe ramifications for these things. And I know it's not easy to speak out like this. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you so much.